Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the states attribute in Odoo 16. So as you can see, this is my custom module, the company management. And if you go to the PY here, you can see that I have given a field called state, which is a selection field. And I have defined some fields here. That is, I have given some states here inside this. And I have also specified the default state is confirm and if you go to the views you can see that i have given the state inside the header and i have given the widget as the status bar because if you just search the widget equal to status bar you can see multiple examples from the add-ons of 416 and here as you can see that i have given two buttons that is the confirm button and the cancel button and as you can see that I've given the state attributes that is the cancel and the confirm so I'll just remove this attribute for now and let me run the code so after you define the buttons in the XML make sure that you give the function in the PY page of your custom module so I've given a simple function to change the state from the confirm and the cancel as you have specified only two states here so I'll just go to the UI and I'll just upgrade the module and after upgrading the module you can just see the buttons that you have created or defined inside the views here so as you can see here you can see both the buttons here and now let me go back here and if you just want to make it invisible in some states according to your condition in states you can give the attribute to your states and you can specify the field in which you want this button to be visible so here I have given in the confirm button that it should be visible in the state cancel and in the cancel button I have defined that it should be available or it should be visible only in the state confirm so after giving the code now let me just go to the apps here and upgrade my custom app and after upgrading my custom app you can go to the company management that is your custom app here and after going to the app here let me open the view and you can see that confirm button is gone because we have given the state is equal to cancel so only when the state becomes cancel the confirm button will be shown so if you just click on the cancel it would change the state to the cancel state and you can now see the button confirm because the state has changed to the cancel state and you cannot see the cancel button because we have given it to be visible in the confirm so I'll just click on confirm and it goes to the confirm state and you can see the cancel button is visible because we have given the state equal to confirm for the cancel button so this is how you gave this t8 attribute in odo 16 that's all for today thank you